Hi hello, in this video you are going to learn C++ programming language. Let me give what are the concepts that are existed in C++. The concepts in C++ are about C++, data types, input and output, if else statements, loops, functions, classes, objects, polymorphism and inheritance. Now let me introduce what exactly C++ language is. C++ is a high level programming language. Most importantly it is the object oriented programming language. It is the extension or advanced level of C language. C++ is not the purest object oriented programming language. What is pure object oriented language? The language in which we cannot run a single program without using class concept. Example Java. But whereas in C++ we can run a program without using class concept. By using functions we can run program in C++. Syntax means way of using. Every process will have particular syntax. Every C++ program contains header files. Header files contain predefined files which were designed by C++ founder. We use async diverse stream for input and output purposes. And also we use user predefined library called using namespace std for printing and reading data purpose. So far we learn as include io stream using namespace std these should be this should contain in our program and also every c++ program should contain a main function it looks like this so far we learn as include io stream using namespace std and main function now let me clarify why C++ programming language is not pure object programming language. We can see in C++ programming language syntax, we can run a program without using class concept. Whereas in Java, we must and should use classes in order to run a program. So Java is called pure object programming language, whereas C++ is a object oriented programming language but not called as pure object oriented programming language let us discuss about data types before learning data types let me clarify what are variables a variable is any english word used to store data in it data types decide type of data that variable should store in it we can see for example into youtube here int is called a data type and youtube is called variable and also float coding float is called a data type and coding is called variable we have many types of data types those are predefined data types derived data types and user defined data types first let me discuss about predefined data types there are many types of predefined data types first one is int it stores integer type data that is 1, 2, 3, 3, double 4, 1, any integer syntax. Here int is called data type and a is called variable. And the second one is float. It stores decimal related data. For example, 2.13, 3.14. Any decimal related data syntax here float is called data type and abc is called variable. And the third one is char. It stores single alphabet, for example, A, B, D, S, etc. Syntax. Here, char is called data type and AB is called variable. And the fourth one and the last one is it stores string. It stores English words, example, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Syntax. String. Here, string is data type and ABC is called variable. Derived data types An array is a type of data type used to store multiple data of same type 
for example i want to store marks of 10 students then with our knowledge you say i will declare 10 variables with the different names but uh, it will it would be difficult for us to remember so without having problem of remembering those variables name we can use arrays syntax of arrays are is int a square brackets and number of variables here int shows type of data and a is a variable and 10 decides number of variables array index starts from 0 if you if you use 10 students up to 9 you can store the data of students user defined data types based on our requirement we can create data types those data types are called user defined data types for example in a class we want to collect students data that is id number name marks then you must create a user defined data type to store all of them example for user defined data type is classes in this case i need int data type to store id number string data type to store name and again in data type to store marks printing and scanning data in c++ let me first discuss about printing to print data in c++ we use this syntax to print hello world we use like c out hello world less than less than and all here and all is used to go to next line now program to print hello world as usual we write like header file library and main function and also see out less than less than hello world and l now let me quickly tell about declaration declaration is nothing but creating a variable for example here you can see syntax int a is nothing but declaration and initialization assigning value to the variable directly syntax int a equal to 5 we have assigned 5 directly into a scanning or reading data from the keyboard can be done by using c in before scanning we need to declare a variable in which we need to read the data into it we can see the syntax c in greater than greater than declared variable now i am going to execute what we have learned so far before doing that let me quickly explain this program here i have declared a variable int a and after that printing enter any value user will input a and i am printing a on the console now i am using c++ compiler to execute the code in my mobile i have already made a video on how you can execute c++ in your mobile i am providing the link to that video in the description and also in the card at the right top corner As usual we need to start C++ program by header files that is hash include iostream and followed by library using namespace std and then main function. This is common for all C++ programs. As I said earlier, we need to use CO to print data on the console. Here I am printing hello world. We need to write hello world in between double quotations and followed by endl to print the data on the next line to go to next line. And finally, we need to zero to end our program after that we need to compile the code and execute we will find we will see hello world on the output here you can see the cursor is on the second line 
because we have used until at the end of the cout statement that is the reason why the cursor is at the second line now i am writing a small program to read data from the keyboard now i am declaring a variable int s and then i am sending user user friendly statement to enter his age that is see out enter your age and the entered data we need to store in the declared variable by using see in statement as i said earlier by using see in statement we need to read the data into the declared variable you can see c in greater than greater than declared variable is what is and end with semicolon and let me run let me compile the code and let me before that let me write uh, let me print the data what we have received by to do that write c out your is in double quotations less than less than is we, we don't need double quotations here because is is already declared that means if any variable is declared we don't need double quotations and then handle to finish now compile the code and run we can see the cursor is waiting for the input because we wrote scene statement right there I have entered my age is 18 then it shows your age is 18 now let me write a program on addition of two integers to do that let me declare three variables a b and sum now I would like to read data to the variables a b to do that I am using c out enter a value and I am reading that uh, input data to the variable a by using c in greater than greater than a and now I am reading data to the variable b to do that I am printing c out enter b value after that i am reading data to the variable b so i am writing c in greater than greater than b so the readed value will be stored in variable b now i have two values one in a and another in b i am adding those two values and store that added value in variable sum so i am writing sum is equal to a plus b so if i print sum then we will get the output of those two entered values which is addition of two entered values now i am printing sum let me write let me write sum is equal to a plus b and after that i am printing sum on the console c out less than less than addition what we have performed addition so i wrote addition it is addition of two integers because we have declared only integer type variables and after that what we in which variable we have stored that added value in sum so i am writing sum after that and l now i am compile compiling the code and run now enter a value I am writing it as 15 and enter b value 25 as I said earlier these are integer values and addition it shows 15 plus 25 40 now let me find let me find sum of two floating values that are decimal values 
so that I am declaring three variables as float type and now I am compiling so that we can add numbers of decimal type I am writing a value as 3.14 and b value as 2.5 we can see decimal values are added addition is 5.64 if else statements one of the most important concept in programming we use if else statement to control the access of data for example i have a website in which only males can use then we can control uses of females using if else statements let me quickly show the syntax here if and closure parenthesis condition and if condition fails then the control goes to else block here the condition that we write will decide which code should execute that is the code in if block or the code in else block based on the condition if the condition is true then if block will execute if the condition is false then else block will execute now let me quickly explain the example here i have declared a variable called gender it is care type then i am asking what is your gender if user enter in then you are welcome if user enter female then I am printing as you are not welcome in computer programming you must need to remember one thing if it is a declared variable you need to you don't need double quotations but if it is not declared then you must use double quotations to represent and also if it is if you are using a single alphabet then you must use single quotations in this program I have declared two variables one is string type name and other is int type age here I am I am printing as enter your name and receiving that name entered a name to the declared variable name by using cn statement cn greater than greater than name and I am I am printing like enter your age and I am receiving the data of entered age to the declared variable is by using scene statement now I am giving a condition that if age is less than 18 and I don't want to allow those guys who have age less than 18 to my website so I am entering like if age is less than 18 I am printing like uh, see out you are not allowed If the user enter is then 18 then I am I am printing like you are welcome to our to use our website the, that means I have written a condition if yes is less than 18 I am printing you are not allowed if the age if the entered age is less than 8 is greater than 18 then I am printing like welcome you are allowed to use our application here I have prevented persons whose age is less than 18 to use our application this is why we use if else statement to control entry or access of data here enter your name and enter here I entered age as 19 which is greater than 18 so it it welcomes us if I entered age is less than 18 then it pins like sorry you are not allowed to use our application now 
loops are also one of the most important concept in programming loops are used to do your work again and again there are three types of loops in any programming language they are while loop do while loop and for loop before learning loops you need to know what are increasing statements increasing statement is nothing but increasing the value by one it uh, its uh, symbol is plus plus here high value is zero initially and after writing plus plus its value becomes one let me quickly explain while loop while loop syntax is while and condition code and increasing statement is compulsory and closing the bracket example code here i have initialized variable i equal to 0 and i am looping the variable till i gets its value 5 by using increasing statement now here do while loop here its syntax is do code increasing statements and while and condition will be written at the bottom you can see the example code also and let me quickly explain for loop for loop syntax is bit different from both earlier two loops its syntax is initialization first and, sec and uh, second condition and then incre increasing statement you can see example code has included i string and i have declared variable int i and i will be rotated till it gets value 5 here you can see output hello world is printed 5 times we move while loop and for loop in programming let me execute the code I will explain one by one each loop clearly right now here I am using while loop here I have initialized i with 0 and I am writing the condition as i less than 5 and I am incre incrementing each time as i plus plus you can see I am printing hello world while loop i less than 5 and increasing statement you can see then you will be able to find output as 5 times hello world here if you if you place 10 then it will print 10 because i is initial i is equal to 0 by using uh, increment statement it is getting increased by 1 till 10 if you print uh, 10,000 if you print any value that that much time it will be printed print on the console now I am explaining do while loop we simply put do and uh, open curly brackets and write the code that you want to execute here I am printing hello world again and after that increment statement is compulsory initial i is equal i value is 0 and I am incrementing with the statement like i plus plus and I am writing condition at the bottom while i less than 5 that means up to i value gets 5 you need to do the work that is printing as hello world it is printed it as 5 times hello world now I am using most famous loop for loop to do that you don't need to initialize the variable you just to declare because in for loop you have initialization phase also here in for loop i is equal to 0 and i less than 5 and i plus plus this is the syntax that means i value starts with 0 until until it gets 5 you need to rotate the loop that is means that means you don't need to write increment statement separately at the bottom of the code here in the syntax you can you have already written i plus plus you can see you can see you will be able to find hello world five times functions functions are one of the most important concept in c plus plus there are two types of functions one is void and another is non void void means the function which will not return any value is called void and non void means the function which will return some value is called non void that means it may return int float char or string value any value any type of value example for void void function 
we need to write void youtube is the name of the function and code and here you don't need return as it is void and here for non void you need to return some value here 5 which is int type since the function is int, int type function here function definition means writing a function is called fu function definition and function calling means calling the function from the main function is called function calling here i can see i have a coder is the name of the function and coder i am calling coder in the main function here i am printing like youtuber this is called function definition and calling function from the main function is called function calling here i have coder function printing like low coding i i called that function from main function now i am trying to call the function two times here i wrote again two times on the main function so in the output you will find two times execution of that particular function you can find in output yes we have two times low coding and low coding this is a void type now i am trying to execute int type or non void type that means here int means i am returning i should return value of type integer so here i am returning any value of integer that is 20 for example randomly 23 that returned value will be will will be collected in the main function where we called that particular function here i called that function in main function so you will get 23 on the called place where i called in main function so i can get 23 on the output classes classes are the user defined data types which can be created by programmer based on his requirement classes contains both variables and functions here syntax here in the syntax class and the name of the class and the classes contain two subheadings private and public under private we need to write variables and under public we need to write functions let me quickly discuss about objects for example in int a a is called a variable likewise if student is the class name then in statement student youtube here youtube is called object object is used to access the data of class let me quickly explain example code here is the code you can see i have created in main function i have created student s and here s is called object by using object I have accessed member functions here you can see the output also let me quickly execute the code you can find I have wrote the same code that I have displayed earlier and I am now compiling before that I am creating an object I, I have already write class named student now I am creating an object to that class student s now using object I am accessing the data of that class we need to use dot operator to access the data s dot get data is the function and and also I have another function in the in that class as dot put data that means I am getting data and I am printing the data you can see in the output now I am comparing the code you will find you will find the output also here it is asking enter your id let me give an example my id is 10 and enter name and i am typing as kohli here you can see id is equal to 10 and name is equal to 20 polymorphism poly means many and morphism means ways that is using data in many ways it is basically depends on functions this concept is used when you need functions of almost same code but with the different return types 
let me tell about most important concept inheritance technically inheritance means deriving a class from already existing class for example my grandfather built a one state building and my father made it into two states and i made it into three states that means here i use in my father's two state building to build a three state building so i don't need to buy, build newly three state building that means i used previously built buildings likewise for example here class a and class b here i want to adapt or use class a properties in class b so you need to write like class a colon public b and the syntax thanks for watching i hope you guys recognize my work and help me by subscribing us Thank you.